What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and today I tried a little something different. I built Boris all green and played a touch more aggressive than I normally do. I was hoping that the extra health combined with his passive would allow me to still deal a lot of damage but remain really tanky early game. After playing this, th th this was fun, I had a lot of fun with it, but after playing this I think I prefer to build a few red items first to just help with quick kills for ganks and uh, for jungle clear, but this was a fun experiment. I'll also be inserting my own commentary into this one to, to just kind of explain some things about Fault a little better to you guys and talk through some of my decision making during this game. Please hit that like button if you enjoy this one, but uh, let's get into it. Oh, really? Yeah, he went King and Hunter. No shit. Okay, that's a strange call on his part, but we'll see how it works out for him. I get extra range now. Now I started off leveling up my right click, which allows me to pass through minions and perform a double swipe. That's just for jungle clear. After that, I level up my Q, which is his sniff sniff ability that gives him movement speed towards the target and attack speed whenever he hits them. And uh, I use that for ganking. Speaking of which, this Sebrog is pushed pretty far forward, so we're going to go over there and see if we can help our Kwong out. Uh, that is a Radiant Pulse that I put down that detects wards. Your regular wards don't detect enemy wards, the Radiant Pulse does. So this Sevrog does not know that we're here, and we're going to go in after him. An enemy has been slain. Now that we gank successfully, I see that this green buff is about to spawn. The side buffs spawn, or shrines as they call them, spawn at three minutes. So I'm just, I'm not going to take this. I'm going to get this low for our Kwong to come get. This will help him dominate his lane. Whoever controls the green buff in the off lane is usually whoever wins that off lane. So it's nice to get Kwong that early green buff. I'm also going to come over here and try and get this blue buff low for our Gideon. But I think our Gideon backs here. I suppose I should explain, the green buff gives you uh, health and mana regen, the blue buff gives you mana regen and uh, extra experience. Come over to the other blue buff because it's preferable if I get one blue buff and the mid laner gets the other blue buff. There Boris was attacking it. I'm going to go ahead and put some shots on it. Hopefully, hopefully we can bait him in. And our Gideon is there to assist. We're going to attack this Boris. He's getting extremely low. Use my Q. Now the Morgash comes in. I make a decision here, a conscious decision to beat back the Morgash and then let our Gideon get that Boris. I'm not sure if that was the best decision I could have made, but it worked out for us in the end. Uh, let me guys know what you would have done right there. If you would have kept pursuing the Boris or uh, turned on the Morgash like I did. Now that our Gideon has one blue buff, I'm going to come over here. I already had this one low anyway and take this blue buff. So that's going to give me a level advantage. Level advantage is really important in Fault. Um, maybe even more so in the early game than, than item builds. At this point in the game, I really hadn't shown any love to our duo lane, and I really need to go over there and gank, but I, as I was coming over to gank, they pushed them back a lot, so I didn't want to risk going in, so I was decided to get this gold buff low for our carry. I am queued with the Twin Blasteria. Uh, I'm sure I said that name wrong, but um, 
I'm getting it pretty low for you. Yeah, I'm just going to try and get this gold buff load for him, oh, but then the a, enemy Boris comes here. in he's got, he's and ruins my up. day. <laughs> I, I decided to go, um, to, to, he, he's, he's, he's not being very aggressive, so I decided to just go all in on this Boris and see if I can take him out. And I probably should have kept pursuing that kill, um, but I decided to preserve my own life right there as our duo lane was getting jacked up by Borgash. Oh shoot, dude, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, dude, I'm dead, oh my god. Are they just diving through the tower? Slain. No. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been Holy slain. Holy crap, bro. Those guys were so... Like, they really wanted to get me. Oh, our Gideon is... Going hard on that Boris. Now, upon rewatching this, I realized I didn't need to, but I swiped through those minions to try and take the aggro off of the Gideon is what I was doing right there. stuck inside minions big mistake on my part there i initiated with my ultimate because i thought that if i ulted in and then right click that he would just be dead i thought that would be the end of it ended up chasing him into his tower getting stuck behind minions story of my life An enemy has been slain. Now at this point, Raptor comes up at 8 minutes. Nobody has taken Raptor, and it's really valuable for the favor. You get 3 favor whenever you kill Raptor. So I really wanted to force this kill. Dove under the tower, got the Twin Blast. Unfortunately, I do end up taking a lot of damage, more from these minions in the Muriel than the actual tower. Kind of beef up on the Muriel, posture up, knock her back a little bit. She uh, She's trying to bait me under the tower. I'm not going to take that bait. So I still want to get the Raptor. Like That's really important that we do that. So I go ahead and um, kind of him and haul about it. I start the back, but uh, I do have my smite that's on my one. That does give me health back whenever I smite a jungle minion. So we can still do Raptor, but um, our duo lane is kind of messing around with Morgesh, which, I mean, she's Morgesh is very dangerous in this match, so I don't, I don't blame them at all. And uh, our ADC end up, does end up uh, dying to the Morgesh because she's dealing a crap ton of damage, and I believe she get, hits... Hits him with her ultimate, takes him out. So unfortunately, the raptor remains alive. If I didn't take that one second of tower hit, I wouldn't have died. Why 
Gonna die one more time. Ally has been slain. Our enemy has been slain. I think enemy more gets hurts now. He's six and three. Come on, Kwong, you can get him, you can get him. Yeah, the enemy Morgash hurts a lot. I got an outplayed like mad right there. Got way too thirsty for kills and ended up giving Severog some stacks and two buffs. He backed off. Moonblast is dead. So yeah, why the, he their Boris is up. An enemy has been slain. Whew, that was a little close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these raptors now. Yeah, I'm gonna help you. Dude, my Q is an instant cast anymore, and even if I change it to instant cast, it doesn't get changed. Must be warded. They are. Yeah. An enemy has been slain. Severog wants a piece. I don't think he does. Oh, uh, if you can brood him. Yes, thank you. Oh. An enemy has been slain. This was about the dumbest decision I made all game. I can't see anybody on the map. And I decided, you know what? Now's a good time to invade. <laughs> this was dumb. Oh, Muriel, you bitch. can't get there yeah that was a risky invade for me
I actually think we can take them for the three. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. I take that back several times. Holy crap, bro. You see several? An enemy has been slain. Double An enemy kill. has been slain. Nice. Oh, that Morgash needs to fucking die. Yeah, whoever An killed me has been slain. And it looked like that kid really needed it. Did I get? No, God, no! Thank you, Gideon. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Trying to explain hard right now. I'm coming in. An I'm coming enemy mid. has been slain. Is it only you and him? Oh no. An allied tower is under attack. Double An kill. Enemy yeah, don't don't don't, don't go in on that. Gets me with that every time. Great example of the dumb shit I often do. I had activated my smite and didn't realize it, so I wasn't able to use abilities because it was waiting for me to target the smite. Come on, please, you get him, please. Oh no, is your um move speed gone? Yeah. Damn, mural shields are strong. She has body and escort. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. I thought our Kwang was killing you. <laughs> He was doing his abilities in front of you. Looked like he was killing people. I got off got out of there with a sliver of health.
here, I need to help out the field. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. How did Twin Blast kill me? What the heck? Twin Blast got my kill. You got killed by Morgash. What? That's weird. Nah, he was able to back. I'm gonna start building the fountain item because Morgash is starting to really hurt me. It sounds like I'm saying I'm offended. <laughs> Man, I don't really need to learn Muriel because it seems like she's doing really well. Oh, they just they gave up. Hi. Yay! We're two for two, brother. We are two for two. That's gonna be it for me for a little bit though. I gotta go do a bunch of housework. Okay. Good game, man. Good game. Good game to you too. I'll play with you later. Man, goo.